Well, we've been catching up with Spike Lee and the stars of his new movie, Black Klansman, mm -hmm. all week long. But, Craig, you got to sit down and meet the leading man. Yeah. Good guy. His name is John David Washington, really good guy. There's already a lot of buzz surrounding his performance in particular. He also happens to be the son of Oscar winner Denzel Washington. We sat down with John David to talk about his breakout big screen role and what it was like growing up as the son of a Hollywood icon. We think you might be the man to open things up around here. Sometimes the role of a lifetime comes via text. How did you land this gig? Uh, so I was on location for another film in Cincinnati, and I get a text saying, yo, a Spike called me. Spike, as in legendary director Spike Lee. The filmmaker wanted actor John David Washington to play the lead in Black Klansman, a movie based on the real-life story of a Colorado detective, Ron Stallworth, God bless white America, who infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan in the 1970s. Chief, Black Ron Stallworth over the phone, White Ron Stallworth face to face, so there becomes a combined Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? I believe we can with the right white man. We can do anything. What was the film about for you? Seeing a group of people help this African-American man achieve the goal to execute this mission. They believed in the case, they believed in him, and they did not look like him, you know, in that time in Colorado Springs. The movie is funny, relevant, and at times tough to watch. Most difficult scene in the movie for you, what the was The banquet it? scene. The true white American race, the backbone from whence came our great Southern heritage. <laughs> The banquet scene, it felt the most authentic. All those hoods and the celebration of this institution, institution of hate. And even talking and hanging out with the fellow actors that, um, that, were, that were playing Klansmen, you know, we had to joke around between takes, like really just try to get out of it, shake it off, because of how real it felt that day. Black Klansmen isn't John David's first foray into a Spike Lee film. At nine, he appeared in Malcolm X. Co-starring with a certain other actor with the same last name. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. John David Washington is Denzel's son. And lest you forget, the son of Pauletta Washington. As you got started in this business, being the son of Denzel Washington was... And Pauletta Washington. And Paul, and Paul thank you. And who Pauletta was Washington. earning more money than he was when they, when they married, when they, before they got married. She was on Broadway working. She paid for the first date. She paid the bill, paid the cab ride. So, uh, you know, a classically trained pianist, went to Juilliard. Sure. You know, she's a, she's a great artist in her own right, and I, and I learned a lot from her. My, my father taught me how to hunt. My mother taught me how to love. Seeing Dad act on one of the toughest stages hooked a young J.D. My father he did Shakespeare in the Park when I, was, I think I was five years old, four years old, and uh, Richard III. Seeing him up there limping with this, uh, he had this sort of like mullet going on. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was like, I want to do that. But instead of running into that same spotlight, John David initially ran from it and onto the football field. As he started to become successful, people started changing around me. You know, I can't, it gave me a little anxiety, a resentment, anger. Um, so I, I, all those emotions that were happening to me, I, I filtered them through this outlet, football. Football carried him through college and briefly into the pros before an injury closed the door on the game and opened Ricky another Jarrett. for acting. Yeah, yeah. Look. Playing Ricky Jarrett in HBO's Ballers. You didn't leave us for me to help me. You left because you are a coward. Now with Black Klansman, John David is set to make his own mark on Hollywood. And if the standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival is any indication, Washington is well on his way. Ken, the reaction when the film stopped? It's like winning the Super Bowl. I, you know, it, it, I never won anything when I played. That felt amazing. Well, one of the things I really enjoyed about him is you, you get the sense that he is still very much appreciative of all of this. Mm -hmm. Like he's, you know, authentic, genuine, all that stuff. But he is very blessed. He knows that he's blessed. Yeah. But there are times when you, and you guys have both seen the film, you close your eyes 
and it's like, oh, oh, it's Denzel Washington. Yeah. He sounds That's just like Al his dad. said, yeah. right, with this, that was your first mm-hmm. reaction. Especially when, sometimes you, if you just listen to him, yeah. he's mm-hmm. got those intonations. Very he holds his own. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah. He does. He's an actor in his own right. Mm-hmm. By the way, the afro, not real in the film. <laughs> oh, really? Not, oh, yeah, I was disappointed, to too. He worked uh, well. It premieres this Friday. Black Klansman opens in theaters this Friday. And it also, of course, opens. The co- it's coinciding with the first anniversary of Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, Craig. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.